Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Carlos and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the update 1.7 to Calipeg. If you don't know, Calipeg is a 2D animation software made for the iPad. I'm really excited about this update because they have new audio functionality that we're gonna take a look at, but first. And welcome back. So like I said before the intro, there's this new update to Calipeg, which is 1.7, and this new audio functionality that they've included in this update. I'm really excited about this because this comes in real handy for when you're trying to make your character speak, or there's other times that you might just want background music to whatever it is that you're animating. And so that's where all of this new functionality comes in handy. I'm really excited about it. So let's go ahead and jump over to the iPad and take a look at how to do all of this new audio stuff. Here we are in the studio and I'm going to tap new shot. And here we can name our project. So I'm gonna tap on there and say, audio test for what we're doing here. 1920 by 1080 is perfect. 24 frames a second is fine. And then uh, number of shots. So if you're going to do a full on animation and you have different scenes and different shots that you need to accomplish, maybe different angles of your animation camera, uh, this is where you can create those different shots and they're all kept in the same folder for the lack of a better word. So everything that we have here is fine. I'm going to click create. If you go down to the bottom left, you notice this number one. That just means that we have one layer in this whole animation. So if I come in here and tap on the very next icon over, that's the different layers with the plus. So that means that we're going to create a new layer. This first icon is a new art layer. So if we're going to draw, that's the layer that we want. The next one over, is a video layer. So if we're importing video for either reference or actually if we're animating on top of a video layer, that's the layer type that we would need. I'm going to be doing more videos on like rotoscoping and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, the next one over is a transformation layer. There's a lot to that. I'm going to go ahead and link a video right there. That video just basically shows how I use one of the ways that I use these transformation layers for basically timing out the animation that I'm working on. The new one is this audio waveform that's all the way on the right. If mm -hmm. I tap that, we get a new audio layer and notice the, the number all the way on the left. Now we have a number two because again, we have two layers. We're going to take a look at all the buttons for that layer in a second. But first I wanted to show you guys how to either import or create audio for Calipeg. This white square with an arrow pointing down, that's basically just an import button. So mm -hmm. if we tap that, we go to files, we'll be able to find an audio file and then bring that audio file in and just be able to either use it as background audio or our voice audio. Let's say you wanted to create an audio file directly in Calipeg. What you would do is go to the hamburger menu right next to the arrow pointing down icon. Click mm -hmm. on that. And here we have a bunch of new icons. The trash icon, obviously, if we tap that, it's going to delete this layer. This two square one is basically copying the layer. If we have audio in place and we don't want to accidentally adjust it or move it or even delete it, you can lock the layer with that lock. This next icon that looks almost like a film strip with a dotted line around it. If you have anything selected, that's a fast way to deselect everything that you might have selected. The next one over is if you wanted to duplicate that layer and the eye with the number one on it, if there's a bunch of layers and you only want this one audio layer to show or to be heard, you tap that icon. The magnet icon is if you have a bunch of gaps within that layer, if you tap that magnet icon, it'll take up all the empty spaces. Just get rid of all the empty spaces. But the icon that we're looking for right now is this big red circle. So if I tap that, now you see that we have a record button. We have our visualizer for the audio levels. We have the accept button and the close button. So if I wanted to create some audio directly for Calipeg within Calipeg, what I'm gonna do is tap this record button. Wow, 
Calipeg sure is neat. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to click the check mark and I'm going to name it voice recording and accept that. And you see that our audio is called voice recording. And if we wanted to rename this layer, I can double tap where it says audio. Name that character voice. Now that we have audio in this file, we have a lot of these silent sections in here that we might not want. What I can do is double click on that clip, make sure that it's yellow, and I'm gonna click on the left side and drag that in. And you see how it's cutting out the preliminary silence and then we get into the words. Let's take a look at the tail end of this audio because I remember having all of that extra audio that we don't need, right? We can use two different techniques of editing to clip out the parts that we don't want. I could either come over to the right side of this clip and drag it over and you see how it's getting cut off. One of the other ways that we can do that is come over to the clip, whether it's highlighted or not highlighted, we can come over and slice down and now we can double tap on the part that we don't want, click that trash can and now it's gone. So if we hit play, Calipeg sure is neat. One of the helpful things that they've included in Calipeg is when I have my audio placed, I can actually scrub on the timeline and get a good idea of where those letters hit. So if I wanted to, I know that, wow, W starts right here. So I'm gonna double tap to create a marker. I'm gonna double tap on the marker itself and I'm gonna name that W. Right here is where the O starts. So I'm gonna double tap on the timeline, double tap on the marker again, make that an O. And our W comes back in here, double tap here, hit return to accept. So now we have a good indication of where those different letters hit. So we know what to draw on that frame. Okay, now let's take a look at a few ways to be able to edit the audio that we have placed. If we come here and we double tap on the clip, the first icon we see is the trash can. So obviously if we click that, it's going to delete that audio. The next one is we can duplicate with content. So if I tap and hold and then I drag somewhere else, I'm able to make a direct copy of that clip. Now, I want you to notice the green one is not selected, the orange or the yellow one is selected. If I tap and hold, I'm able to move this clip, but if I come down to the drawing layer, it's not going to let me drag that to the drawing layer. You can only drag audio clips to audio layers. So if I wanted to move that, I'd have to create a new audio layer. And now I'm able to click and drag and then place that properly. So we don't need that. I'm gonna tap the trash can. Now it's gone. I'm gonna to come to the hamburger menu, trash can again. That is gone. Let's double tap on that clip again. The next icon over is a circle with a little line going through it like this, right? If I click and drag within that circle, I'm able to affect the volume of only that clip. If I wanted to duplicate this clip, I'm going to double tap. This menu comes up. I'm going to tap on the duplicate with content, let go. So now if I come over here and drag the volume down here, now I have two audio clips on the same layer. It's the same clip, but one has the volume adjusted. So if I hit play, it sure is neat. Now let's say that we have a bunch of these audio clips lined up on the same layer. If I wanted to affect the audio levels of that layer, I come over here to this icon and I click and drag to the left. Now, if this was a drawing layer, the opacity of that layer would be going down. If I drag to the right, the opacity of that layer is going to go up. On an audio layer, if I tap and drag to the left, it's gonna bring the volume down. If I tap and drag to the right, it's going to bring the volume up. So if I wanted to bring both of those clips down, what I'm going to do is come to the left and drag to the left. And now if I hit play, wow. 
And just so you guys know, if you double tap an audio clip and you hit play. Wow, Calipeg sure is neat. Wow, Calipeg. It's only going to play the selection that you have selected. So if you see that your playback is only happening in a limited amount of time or frames, chances are that you have something selected. So if you wanted to go to the hamburger menu and tap that and it unselects everything in that layer. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that layer cause we don't need it anymore. And we have our markers up there. Okay, so we're back down to one audio clip and I have all of the volume set to the default levels. Let's say that we've been working on an animation and we have a whole bunch of audio, but while we were working, maybe the audio turned out to be a little too high, but we want to affect all of the clips. We can come up here to the top middle section and we can click and drag this little white pill looking thing. We can drag that to affect the volume of the entire animation. While I'm dragging, if I'm trying to get to a perfect zero and it's just a little difficult to get there, what I'm gonna do is double tap that little pill. Now I'm able to come in here and tap zero. That's a really nice little shortcut to do things mathematically more than just trying to drag your pencil back and forth. Another quick way to adjust the volume is the speaker on the actual layer. If I tap that and hit play, you see that the playhead isn't moving and that's because all of that audio clip is being ignored by Calipeg. Whereas if I wanted to come down to the drawing layer and I wanted to add a circle, let's say, I can double tap that, zoom in a little bit. If I double tap and drag that out here, And again, go to the beginning and hit play. Now we see the playhead moving because we have way more frames. Let's zoom in a little bit because I wanted to show you guys another helpful tip that these guys put into Calipeg. If I double tap that audio file, you come over here to the right and you see this arc that goes from the bottom left to the top right. And then again, from the top left to the bottom right. If I tap that first one, you see that we get these two anchor points. If I click and drag on one of these, I'm able to fade in that audio clip. And if I double tap again and hit that last icon, we get some anchor points over there too. So now I'm able to come and affect the fade out. And then depending on where you put that anchor point, that's how much of a fade happens. Okay, so now that we're at the beginning of the clip, I'm gonna hit play. Wow, Calipeg sure is neat. Let's go ahead and drag that over just a little bit more. Wow, Calipeg sure is neat. And you see how the audio ramps up and then it reaches top volume and then towards the end, it then fades back out. That's really cool, that's really helpful and I love that feature. Okay, let's say that you didn't want those. I'm gonna double tap and tap on those icons again, and now the fade in and the fade out is gone. I'm happy with our audio, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that hamburger menu and then go up to the lock button. And now I can't accidentally adjust that audio layer unless I unlock it again. Let's go back down to our drawing layer. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this clip because we don't need it. And we see that this first part here is a W. So I'm going to draw a head give them some eyes. And when we're drawing a W, it's woo, woo, so our, our lips are pursed together. So we can go like that. And this is where the O comes in. So I'm gonna double tap this sheet and then I'm gonna stretch it out to just about where the O starts maybe a little bit shorter, come here. And now I can use the onion skinning and just as a refresher, this is our onion skin button. And now we're at the ow. So we need a nice big wide mouth position, right? So we're gonna go wow. If we wanted to throw in some teeth here, we can totally do that. Wow. And that's a W, so I'm gonna double tap here and drag over. I'm gonna double tap the W because we're going from W to O, or ow, back to the W. So now I'm gonna 
come up here to this icon, duplicate with content, and I'm going to drag that and put that in place. And now I can drag that W last for a while. So I'm going to drag that over there. Okay, so we're at the beginning and, and I'm going to double tap and drag to select those clips because I want to review only that small section. So now with these three clips selected and highlighted, what I can do is hit play. Wow, 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 wow. That's not too terrible. We're gonna move on. Let's play to see what we got. Wow, Calipeg sure is neat. Wow, Calipeg sure is neat. And now probably what I would do is come in with some in-betweens and really smooth out the animation, depending on how smooth I want it to be. But something like this would be good enough, probably for like if you're doing a, a story time animation or anything like that, something that you have a very limited time frame on, you just want to get it out the door, this would be enough because all of your key mouth positions are in place. And then you just go from there. If you learned something in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know anyone else that's looking to get into movie making, animation, graphic design, send this video on over to them. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. And if you notice there's a little bell right next to the subscribe button, click on that. So every time I come out with new content, you'll be alerted and we'll be doing all these creative projects together. I hope this video finds you healthy and I hope this video finds you safe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Coconut Test.